Yasmina Reza is a, is a, this wonderful um, European playwright who's figured out how to write about the bourgeoisie, almost write a, a sort of traditional comedy of manners, and then sort of blow it open with some deeper, darker themes. She writes in French, and so the play was first done uh, in its original language. Um, then it went to London in a translation slash adaptation, mostly translation by uh, Christopher Hampton, and uh, it took it did it it took London by storm. It won the Olivier Award for best play. Um, so naturally, it came back across the pond and did the same thing on Broadway. Um, I've always wondered how much of the Broadway success I think it was partly due to the play, and of course partly due to the blockbuster original cast that they put together um, for the New York production. Um, Christopher Hampton and Yasmina changed the play slightly for New York because they, they tried to uh, de-anglicize it. They, they reset it to Brooklyn. They tried to take out the Britishisms. Um, but the play remains essentially what it is. A, a comedy of manners in a sense of um, relatively affluent, affluent and extremely affluent um, people who quickly devolve into something else. I'm very much the kind of, of artist and director who um, finds the artist that I want to work with and then get in the room and start from scratch as if this is the first production, this is a new play, let's discover it together. So I've actually tried to avoid all the stuff I mean, the play has been reviewed everywhere, it's been written about everywhere. It's a little controversial. You know, there is, there are, you'll read some reviewers that absolutely adore it, some reviewers who say that it's about the actors, some reviewers who will say um, it's a great entertainment, but it's not deep enough, some will delve into the darker themes. It, it seems to be a bit of a flashpoint for different people to, to really see different things in it. I think um, things are only light when it's in opposition to darkness. Things are only funny when it's in opposition to tragedy and drama. So when I, when I work on a piece, I want to make sure that the piece has these two very wide poles and that in, in putting it together and in directing it, really push the, the themes and the, the actor's behavior, the choices that we make as far to the dark and to the light as possible. So I'll only feel that this production is successful if it is unbelievably hilarious. Belly laugh till you feel that, you're, that you can't breathe or you're going to throw up. Funny. And then on this side, chillingly scary. It's going to be about the tight, tight, tight ensemble work of this company. Because they have to be a comic machine. They have to each know who they're setting up, what they're knocking down, whose turn it is next. You know, they're, it's, it's like one of those children's games of pass the ball around and who's, who's got it now and whose turn is it to go and everybody else is a supporting actor and then suddenly everybody, it, it changes, it changes, it changes. So, um, I needed actors that I knew would be able to do that kind of work and who I took my best guess would also be able to do that together. I want them to question their assumptions of themselves. Um, I question my assumption about myself when I look in the mirror of the play. I hope that they will be able to take the journey with the actors and see how step by step the civilized, sophisticated person can become a caveman. Thank you.